Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm talking about another ink from Standard Bi Standard Bindery. It is Old Friend. Now this, when they released this line of inks, uh, first look at these, I went, yes, this is one that I'm going to absolutely love. And to be perfectly honest, I do. I think this ink is absolutely beautiful. It's a really interesting sort of purple, uh, sort of burgundy color. Um, I would sort of put it in that red wine category. And look, there is a tiny hint of sort of a gold sheen there, but Mm, not really, and you certainly don't get any in the writing. But this is what the ink looks like on sort of standard cardstock. Um, and this is how it comes packaged. I really like the standard binary packaging across their range of products, not just the ink. Um, this sort of craft brown I think is really lovely, and the way that they do their labels I think is so simple and elegant. Um, we open that up and we get the bottle, which is a nice bottle. I really like the shape of these bottles. I think those sort of rounded corners gives it a lovely sort of classic sort of feel which I think is a lot of what the branding of the company goes for uh, anyway. So as you can see there, 60 mils. Now these inks um, are available through Standard Bindery, uh, as well as a number of other retailers now. I believe um, Van S Pens and a couple of other retailers in the US are now stocking these inks, as are a couple of European uh, brands, uh, uh, sorry, um, retailers, uh, which is really great because I think these inks are actually really really great there's only six at the moment uh, but hoping they'll add a few more uh, to that range as well and i've got a few to review which is uh, absolutely wonderful so let's look at it on paper here it is on standard rhodia so you can see there that sort of purpley burgundy color is very sort of nice and strong and saturated with some nice shading i have this in a pen that's a little bit of a different pen than what i'd normally use it's a hero 981 just a sort of standard everyday writer i thought i'd share the love Nice pen, nice wet, fine line. Um, so this is a really uh, lovely ink. It's a gorgeous dark burgundy purple, as I said, nice red wine feel. It's nice in pens. I also had it in a, a Twisby Go with a broad nib, uh, but I used that before I could get to doing this review. Um, it's not a super wet ink, uh, but it is generous and has really excellent saturation. So let's just do a quick writing sample here on the page. You can see it in action. So this is um, old friend ink, and it's just a really lovely, as I said, nice sort of burgundy sort of purple color. Um, you know, not too, not too wet, as you can see there. Um, dry time is pretty good, but a nice color. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down some uh, water here We'll let that settle in while I show it on some other paper. And then uh, we'll come back and see what it, how it handles it. Let's start from the bottom up. So here I have standard uh, like student notepad uh, paper from Spyrex. You can actually see it does a pretty good job. Like look, compared to the Color Traveler there, you know, I think the feathering is on par or probably even a little bit better. Um, the bleed on the other side, we do get hints of it coming through of course. But this is not fountain pen friendly paper by any stretch of the imagination. Not designed to be. Then we get it on uh, standard copy paper here, uh, where it, I think it looks nice. It's got a nice sort of rich dark colour on this paper, um, and the performance looks pretty good to me. Um, and yeah, very little sort of coming through. So I think this ink performs uh, very nicely. Now we have it on Tomo River paper. Now, if we're going to get any sheen, this is where it would be. And there might be a couple of sort of hints of it occasionally, but I put down a lot of ink um, and there's not really that much to sort of, you know, sp speak of. But it does look beautiful and that shading looks absolutely glorious. Um, in terms of performance on the other side, this is the 68 gram paper in a Lockby uh, brand notepad. Um, and you can see that the Tomo River handles it beautifully. Okay, let's dry this up. Uh, and then let's talk about some scoring and stuff. So you can see that the majority of this is taken up. Like there's a little bit left behind. I would say that there's a small amount of water resistance, but a lot of that, there's a, because there's so much saturation in this ink, you just get a lot of smudging and blurring as well. Um, if we look at the chromatography I've done here, yeah, you can see sort of where I put that line down, a lot of greys and black is almost left behind, and then you get the reds and the blues and uh, sort of coming up through to give it that nice sort of purpley, burgundy colour, which is nice. And you do see hints of the uh, grey left behind 
there from the water resistance test as well. Um, so I wouldn't say this ink is waterproof. I would say there is a small amount of water resistance. Um, so on that criteria, I would put fair. Um, as I said, not permanent, not waterproof, but there is some water resistance. So in terms of comparisons, what I have here is Dimine Syrah, which is another sort of red winey ink, uh, old trend there, which is, you can see it's a lot more dark and purple, almost a sort of hints of brown within it. And then I've got, uh, is it Kyono Oto uh, Atsuki Iro, uh, which is a little bit sort of more red as well. But, you know, nice comparisons and sort of puts it into perspective of where it sits in the, in the realm of these sort of general sort of color family. So let's talk about the criteria. Sheen, very low. There, as I said, you can get hints of it on the Tomo River, but really you're not going to get it in any writing. Shimmer, no. Shading, I've said, is fair. It is a very saturated ink, so you do, you know, you're not going to get as much shading as you would with some other inks, even in this colour family. Bleed was good. I think we can, you know, there was very little even on the cheaper paper. I think it stands up nicely, um, which can be a, a, a trait with some saturated inks. They sort of sit heavier on the surface of the paper. Feathering, is good. Wetness and flow is good. It's not amazing, but it's not the wettest ink on the market. Uh, concentration, excellent. It's high. Dry time was 20 to 25 seconds on Rodeo, which is pretty good. Um, it's a few seconds slower than most uh, other inks that I've been using recently. As we said, water resist resistance was fair. Cleaning is good. It is a saturated ink, so it does take a little bit to clean out of pens, um, but you know it's not staining or anything like that. Value, now this is $21.95 if you buy Australian, if you buy it from um, Standard Bindery direct, directly, or it's $21.95 US if you buy it from Van S Pens, and that's for 60 mils. So I actually think that that value is pretty good given you're getting an ink that is from a small manufacturer and a unique brand, and it's also you know not a completely stock standard ink color. Um, there are many inks similar to it, of course, uh, but it's not a, you know, a blue or a black or, anything sort of too familiar. So, in terms of score, um, these are subjective. Like Sheen and Shimmer, they're gonna be based on personal taste. These performance elements of the ink, um, for a score for this ink, things though most of them are good, uh, concentration, things like that are you know, excellent, good, got good dry time. Um, I'm gonna give it a four out of five um, because I think this ink performs and stands up very, very well. Um, even with that sort of fair water resistance, I would say 4.5 is a very good. So I'm going to say it's a very good ink and from a very good brand. Um, check them out if you're not familiar with Standard Bindery. Go onto their website, check out their other products. Buy from them if you can or buy, order this ink from a local retailer. For my personal taste on this ink, um, I have to say I love it. So I've given it a 4 out of 5 as well. I love the colour and it's nice for all kinds of writing needs. And by that I mean... You could use this for professional use if you're not having to use, you know, just plain uh, black or blue or blue black. Um, so you could use this for, it's dark enough for professional use. It's not sort of standing out against your eye or anything like that, but it has just enough personality to make it interesting and to make your writing unique to you, which I think is what a lot of us fountain pen users enjoy about this uh, hobby. So this was Standard Bindery Old Friend. Um, one of their six inks that they have released recently. I think it's a really lovely ink. It's got fantastic properties uh, and I think it performs really, really well. So thank you for watching and I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me or you can contact me here on any of my videos or drop me an email which is also listed below. Please get in touch if you've got questions or if you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your ink and your writing, stay home and stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon.